October 30th, 2024, hang on for a deep dive. I found some pictures. So here we are. These are from Larry Burton back in the day. They're pushing, towing the airplane towards the hangar. Flaps down, apparently there was an engine failure. And they're towing it there. There are two different stacks, so bear with me. Just run it along the taxiway. No idea who the guy is on the tug. Tug driver. Call him Tuggy. So they're out in front of the hangar now. That's Larry Burton by the tail. Could. Not sure who anybody is. So we're getting the power wash now out in front of the hangar. Actually, before that, probably in sequence, we're going to hop over to a very low light picture of the Sea Fury in the hangar. It's got the canopies on it and everything intact. So this looks like shot off the balcony before they got started. Then we get to power washing. Um, power washing the parts. And if you want to look deeper, you're going to just have to pause the video and look on your own. Yep, just power washing parts out front. What do we got here? We got parts missing, right? So, um, parts on the floor, they're, they're starting to take it apart. Um, I think that's just a cool shot from the standpoint of the exhaust system. So the parts are off that they could take off to prepare for pulling the propeller, the nose bowl, and then the engine, which we'll get to. Just kind of a cool shot. What else? So pile of parts in front of the airplane. And that's the pile that Dennis came and picked up. He swapped out long wings for short wings that he had and came and picked up the parts that they had removed. Let's see a, where are we, leading edge tank. And these are the uh, spinner bulkheads, so I'm slightly out of order. Um, now, spinner would have come off first, but I think there's one of these in the back of the prop anyway. Um, doesn't matter. Anyway, this whole thing is parts that came off it, and in fact, I can see this one here is the um, panel that goes underneath the bottom of the airplane with the louvers in it. Access door under the accessory section. Another one of the exact same thing. What else we got over here? Mm, same thing, more parts. They like to take doubles. In the day, in, this is a Polaroid Instamatic, right? But they're still taking doubles. So they're still in the hangar together. Larry and Tug Driver, Tuggy. Got the spinner off and there's a backing plate behind it. Over here, they're starting to, oh, wait a minute, out of order. One more, that's a, just a double. There, now they're starting to pull it outside to, to remove the wing, the propeller, and then the wings? No, wings and then the propeller. Yep. A little bit of a gloomy day in Scottsdale. Mm, backlit to be, beat the band, but the canopies are off. Okay. So left wing starts. They got a crane. And they use the crane to lift up to tilt the wing up, which I think we'll see, and this is where it's actually coming off, so maybe we're a little out of order. Anyway, there's a lots of them taking the wing off, but imagine being in the wheelchair here, Larry overseeing all this from his perspective, that's pretty low. Anyway, we'll run through these quickly because they're kind of all the same. There it is. They had hooked up the wingtip, lifted it up to get the bolts out. You got to do, it's got to be up a little bit in order to get the pins out or undo the bolts. 
and then they strap it around the middle in order to drop it off onto the dolly. That makes sense. So now they're lowering it down to the dolly. What's this? That's both wings off, so we're ahead of myself here. Working on the right wing, same thing, rinse, repeat. Uh, looks like four guys-ish, plus Larry. Same thing, just pulling the wings off. Lift it up, strap it in the middle, and then drop it down to the bench. Finally breaking clear. And you can, this is a good shot of, of being able to see the, um, the opening here. You can see the two holes, which are where the guns would have been right back in here, and they go forward through the holes in the spar there. But then this whole piece opens up for access to the guns. And up, where are we? Up here, ammo belts. And in the center section over here, you would have ammo belts also. But that's where they put the oil cooler in here and then ran tubes, literally aluminum tubes, through the wing spar. They actually took the plates off and hogged it out, the wing spar, and, um, and then ran those tubes back to the oil coolers. And I did realize that um, with critical mass, I found some old videos, which we'll get to later, but we ran, did our first oil cooler mod on critical mass with the original oil coolers that they had. And that's why it all makes it clear to me now. We moved them to the leading edge of the wing, and then they still didn't work. No matter what we do, we couldn't get them to work. So then we swapped out those oil coolers for the 1820 oil coolers from Dennis Buin. Just more junk. Ah, there we go. So then, so wings are off in this picture. What else we got going here? Let's look. Yep, same shot from the back. It's kind of cool, actually. Quartering. It's a big airplane. Oh, getting the propeller off. So we'll go over here. Your side view. Propeller's still on. I can just see one of the tips. But there's a good shot of the landing gear, too. With its double articulators, two pivots, and then the strut is up in up in there. I need a better pointer, but I'll get a better pointer here on the workbench, maybe. And then the strut goes up from the aft into the aft um, tube. Anyway. All right, what else? Okay, prop hanging on the Polaroid. Polaroid guy was not much for lighting. This is the other way. Just sitting on a stand, roll it out of the way. One would presume Dennis took that and the Centaurus also when he came and got the parts. Mm. Nose bowl still on it, sitting in the hangar. God, it just is a mess, isn't it? Just a dirty mess from German red from all its days of getting used and abused. And here, they've got the nose bowl off. That comes off in one piece after you've removed the propeller. And then these get repetitive as we get down towards the end. They're getting ready to pull the engine, just getting the work done. To get ready to pull the engine. Crane in place over there, so what do we got here? More, just more of the same. Yep, workbench down below is filling up though. So that's usually a good sign for something's about to happen. Still just doing the same thing. 
Osho would not be happy with that picture. He's getting the uh, the cranes in place. Here. The crane is in place and they're hooking it up. And here he's hanging from it to get it to lower, I guess. That's all I can figure. And they've got the, the dolly in place, the whatever, I don't know what you call that, the saddle. Crane, more crane, just getting in place. What is that back there? I've never noticed that back there. No idea what that is. Hmm. What do we got? Oh, engine's off there. See if we're doing any better over here. Hooked it up. Ladder. Sea Fury's pretty tall, so it's pulling an engine is a ladder affair. So there, they've got it off. Don't get under that sucker. And then they're going to drop it onto the stand. Actually, they drop it backwards first onto the stand. And then, um, and I think they made these stands, honestly, which would boggle my mind, but they made most of the stuff. All the stands that we ever got, they had handmade. I mean, they're not rocket science, but takes some work. So an interesting point here. They've got the chain wrapped around the nose case. Oh no, I take it back. I was thinking there was a lifting point on top of the nose case, but that is on the 3350. They've never actually played with a Centaurus before, so I don't know. So they just wrap the chain around the front. Good shot of Larry there. And then this gets a little repetitive of just the engine. Keep going, building the stand as we go, I suppose. More digging for the engine. If you've ever read the write-ups that Larry did on AAFO.com, it's pretty impressive what he's able to do from the wheelchair. What do we got? So here it's swinging down, sitting on the rack. Oh, empty airplane, not yet. Oh, there's an engine in front of it, so it's the same. Still jacking with a stand to make it work. Losing the hoist, all right, that's progress, right? think we're still hoisting still hoisting and then here we are with just an empty airplane what they look at it look like at Reno and changing an engine last one that's my last Polaroid engine and the empty airframe and then the airframe and so this is where you end up bolting the oil cooler inlets were right here, these two parts, where it went in and we moved it to the leading edge here, which is where you'll see the oil cooler, like on Dreadnought, has it on both sides. A stock one would have a fuel tank over here. But then they have the air inlets here and here on the leading edge that go, you know, that drive it up into the motor. Any more? Let's see, oh, a couple more. So these are just random shots. They're after it's already pulled apart, much later. I say much later, could have been days later, but they're power washing it and stripping it, it appears, because the next one is an empty center section just sitting there. No idea if it has landing gear in it still or not. I don't recall if they pulled the landing gear out. We'll find some more pictures and get going. So that is the end of these pictures. And that is um, Blind Man's Bluff, coming apart, deep dive, cheers.